what is up the synchro x xyz festival try saying that five times fast is going strong i am i like everyone else am pretty much running sword soul for this uh if you guys want to see me run an xyz deck for this comment down below and i'll probably put up a deck profile of uh gunkin probably gunkin for uh that or maybe even just decide to do shenanigans and do battle boxers but Anyway, to start off our Sword Soul deck profile, we have Tenyi Spirit Adhara. I'm still running one, even though the Tenyis were kind of hurt for this. Because um, you can't run the Link 1 you need to resolve their effects quickly, and then limited the shooter to 1. But I'm still doing it because I like the consistency. Next, we have 2 Maxi, because our opponents are going to Synchro their butts off. So we really want to get the Special Summon res resolution. To draw those cards. Uh, next we got three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring because pretty much everyone in this event is playing Sword Soul and you want to stop them from adding cards constantly. Uh, next we got three Sword Soul Mo Yi because once again consistency. Two Sword Soul of Kaya and then three Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous. Um, and then next we have three Sword Soul Shredder this long one. One Sword Soul Auspice Shunjun. One Tenyi Spirit Vishuda. Two Tenyi Spirit Ashunas. One Nibiru. Three Pod of Desires. One Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. One Lightning Storm. Three Sword Soul Emergence. Two Call by the Grave. One Cross Out Designator. One Heavenly Dragon Cycle. Two Evenly Matched. Three Infinite Imperm, one Sword Soul Blackout. And if you're wondering why I didn't go over the effects of each of these cards, I've already done them in my previous Sword Soul videos. So if you're completely new to the deck, I recommend you check out that first so you can see the core mechanics of the deck. Uh, next, we have one Yazi of the Evil of the Yang Zing starting our extra deck, one Colossal Fighter, to which a lot of people will be like, oh? But the reason we use Colossal Fighter is because when it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can target one warrior monster in either graveyard and special summon that target. That includes himself. So if your opponent is running like a beat stick deck where they don't really have outs to uh, destroy it by effect, or if your opponent for whatever reason uh, can't destroy it by effect and is about to go into the battle phase and you don't want to lose that turn, you can put Colossal Fighter out of defense position, they run it over, Special Summon Colossal Fighter, and you can keep doing it over and over. So that is very useful. Next we have Crimson Blader. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends to the graveyard, your opponent cannot normal or special summon level 5 or higher monsters during their next turn. Uh, this has been great for the mirror match. This has been really great for the mirror match. Uh, next we have Baxia, Brightness of the Yang Zi. When it's Synchro Summoned, you can target cards in the field up to the number of different original attributes the worm monsters used for this card, shuffle them into the deck, target one card you control, one level four or lower monster in your graveyard, destroy that card on the field, and if you do, special summon the other monster in the graveyard. So you get to shuffle cards from the field back, and you get to recur a Sword Soul from Grave. Most of the time I'll get Mo Yi, use Mo Yi, show another Sword Soul in my graveyard, get the token. So good effect all around. Next, we got the one Cyphering Lord Omega. Everyone should be familiar with this card by now, but if you're not, during the main phase, quick effect, banish this card face up from the field, and one card from your opponent's hand face up into your next standby phase. And then once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, you can target one banished card and return it to the graveyard. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one card in either graveyard, shuffle both that card and this card from the graveyard into the deck. And yeah, this is really good to disrupt. Next, we have one Draco Berserker of the Tenyi, one Geomath Mech Magma. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can target up to two cards your opponent controls and destroy them. The other effect is only if you're running Math Mech, so it's irrelevant. Uh, one Emancipator Risen Dragite, um, one Source Soul Grandmaster. Shinx Zhao, I always say the name wrong. Sorry, two, two. I'm running two because I have the extra space. 
one Leo keeper to the keeper of the sacred tree. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects except during your main phase two. Sometimes that's relevant. Um, one Baron de Floor, one Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign, and one Sinister Sword Soul Sovereign Twink Slow Long. And this one's new, so I'm going to go over its effect. If you seek for summon another worm monster while this card is on the field, you can draw one card. If your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can banish one of those monsters and inflict 1,200 damage to your opponent. When your opponent activates a spell or trap card, quick effect, you can banish that card, and if you do, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. So, sorry, 1,200 damage to your opponent. You can only use each effect of sword... Soul, Sinister Sovereign, Winks, Long Long, once per turn. And that is it for the deck. I hope that you guys have a lot of fun with the XYZ X Super Festival. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.